I want to explain the idea of continuity. And so here we have three columns of quarters, which could represent three uh, columns of soil or three temperature measurements or uh, three concentrations of chemistry. And so the idea is that these are very close together and so they represent a continuous um, profile, for example. And we start off with a constant number of quarters in each stack. So let's just kind of put our attention on to pile number two. And that's and so then it has eight quarters in it. And if we take we have an input of two quarters coming from the first pile. And so for a moment, when it, those are added to pile number two, there's ten quarters. And we ha we take two out, we have a rate of output of two. We end up with eight quarters again. So the net change is zero even though we've moved material through it. Let's do it again. So this time, still looking at pile number two, we have one quarter come into pile number two, so it has a momentary uh, accumulation of one, or there's nine quarters. But then let's take seven out. So, uh, and so then if we just keep looking at pile number two, there's two quarters remaining. So the net change is minus six. So that would be erosion. Now here's the case where we still have only two quarters in pile number one, or pile number two, and we bring one in. So we have three there. But then we 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 might say, well, we could erode as many as ten but there's only three so the actual rate of output is three relative to the potential rate of output so this is called production or detachment limited conditions so we're limited by our availability of material and so you might imagine this is like bedrock or, or something that has to be weathered to produce soil that then could be transported